Good morning, good morning, or afternoon, but I've got some good stuff to show you. Number one is this. Number two is this right here. Yes, this is me hugging a grown man. Do you see the size of this fish, guys? First of all, this video right here is full of records. It's full. It's actually the two biggest fish ever caught on the SMC. Absolutely tanks. And they're also going to talk about this right here. So, guys, here is the deal, okay? Simply Safe is sponsoring this video, so thank you so much, Simply Safe. Number two, they sent me the brand new Simply Safe Smart Lock, and I'm going to show you how quick and easy that is to install. Number three, I've been using all the Simply Safe products in my office for a couple years now, and so awesome stuff, very easy to install, and just super, super easy. Plug and play, I don't have to send technicians out here to do all that, I'm going to do it myself. So let's get right into it. <music> just like that guys so easy to install one last thing to check my app I can unlock or lock from anywhere in the world oh yes I just hit the button on my phone so cool thank you simply safe for sponsoring this video thank you simply safe for hooking me up with the smart lock just like all their equipment so easy to install so guys look simply safe has fair and honest prices they have 24 7 monitoring best in the business and the experts recommend simply safe I recommend simply safe so guys check out this link right here BAM that's right, save big. They have a sale going on from now until Cyber Monday. When is Cyber Monday? I don't know, it's a few days after Black Friday, I think, but it's a very good day, okay? Click this link below, do me a solid, check it out. If you wanna protect your home or office, get Simply Safe. I like it, you're gonna love it. So guys, let's get into the video. You're gonna love this, the two biggest fish ever on the SMC. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Scott Martin Challenge. I'm standing here on the shores of Lake Cuchillo Lake in Mexico. That's right, south of the border. What are we doing down here? We're down here getting gold, baby. Team USA just took home the gold in the 14th annual Black Basketball Championship. And I tell you what, awesome deal. Myself, Scott Canterbury, David Fritz, David Dudley, Fred Rubanis, James Watson, and Terry Bolt all converged on this lake and we took home the gold. Today's shift, we're gonna do a little inside the team challenge. James Watson and I team up against Terry Bolton and Fred Rubanis. We're gonna see who's gonna catch the biggest fish. Stay tuned, guys. Angler of the year, Scott Morgan. Oh my God! Tell you what, I, I don't know how many fish are left out there, guys, because we did some damage on them for the last four or five days. And it, that being said, we not only did damage, but so did like 40 other teams. We went to South Africa last year, got a silver medal. We come here to Mexico, big bass factory, and we pull off the gold, Team USA. I mean, just awesome, wasn't it, it awesome? It was awesome. And we competed against more countries this year yeah. than last year. You know, the best part about it, no matter how old you are, anything, you can have a chance to fish with Team USA by basically signing up Is it? for US Angling. Yeah, yeah. they have tournaments all over the country. That's right. Yeah. And if you're in a different country watching right now, mm -hmm. go, go to your president and say, we got to go to this. That's right. It's a big deal. This international movement is huge. So guys, you ready to get this? Five Let's fish. We're not going to bring them back. Let's just weigh them, write them down. We're going to see who wins. What do yep. you think? Sounds Sounds good. Okay. Take Challenge good notes. Accepted. That's right. Okay. All right. Let's get after it. Start off by throwing a live target on crankbait. Got a lot of fish on crankbaits this week. So we'll see if we can't get it. That's a good color. I'm just gonna try to mix it up. Those are the crankbait. I just found this box in my. Well, I went to El Salto last year, and uh, uh, we were provided a tackle box full of crankbaits and stuff. And I literally just found it out of my truck today. Didn't even know I brought it, so I saw this one and made me think tilapia, so I threw it in the boat. This is the first time I've ever cast it on the boat with Terry Bolton. That's right. It's the first time Fred and I have got to fish together. It's awesome. You know, it was awesome to be able to win the gold and to be able to go out here and tell everybody about it and show everybody the lake. You know, this is a challenge, but we're going to take you around the lake today and tell you a few stories along the way about some cool stuff There's that one. happened. Golly. 
world. Dude, he picked it up and he just, really? Yeah. You know, that's kind of the neat thing about this week is, you know, we all fish professionally, different circuits and throughout the year. And, you know, we all got to fish together as a team. And, you know, even though sometimes that can cause some friction, you know, <laughs> it all worked out and we were all able to, you know, come together and work as a team and win the gold medal. Yeah. Uh, Gonna no, make him jump? No, no, he's little. He's little. Look at that Look, bait right yeah. there. See, that's something you don't see very much of. All those little minnows. Yeah. I, I still haven't established. What, what is their forage here, Scott? They're eating these little tiny minnows and butterflies. <laughs> butterflies, for sure. <laughs> Dude, I'm. Uh, isn't that crazy? Look yeah, at that. crazy. <laughs> We're gonna wane. Hold us here. Okay, I'm a spot lock. Spot lock. We'll call this, in my phone notes, we're gonna write this, the title of this note will be um, Lake Cachillo, Big Big Bass Challenge. Big Bass so Challenge. Our first fish, one pound. Huh? It's a start. <laughs> hey, Scott, if we put two 10 pounders with that, we'd have 21 pounds. That's think right. Think of it that way. Yeah, that's a good way to think of it. You know, we want to win today. We want to beat Scott and James, but we're still Fred's retine. We're going to practice, even though this is a fun deal. It's not the tournament, but we're going to still get out here and fish this just like we would uh, any major bass tournament. We're, you know, and that's a good tip to people. Always practice like you play. Right, that's right. Fred? That's great. I love it. Good one. There he is. Good. This good, is a good, good one, good, Scott. Good, good. Oh, he's foul hooked. Just get him in. Just get him in. And the bite. Oh, he's yes. got it. Yes. That was gold medal offer, dude. Look at that. Yeah. I reeled him in that way. Yeah. Don't worry. We'll edit dude. the part out where you said good one. This good, is a good, good one, good, Scott. Good, good, good. Been here all week catching giants. <laughs> dude. Oh, my God. Is that even going to weigh? You know what that is? That's Hang my on, alarm. Hold. Yeah. You know what that is? What? It's 10 13. At 10 really? 13, I call Fred. Every day. Really? Yeah. I got to call Fred. Weigh this fish. I got to call Fred. Really? Yeah, for real. Okay. I'm weighing the fish. 10 13. 10 yeah. 13 every 13. day. I got alarm. Goes off. Our alarms really? go off and we call each other. Have you ever not answered? No. It, it does. Really? No, no matter what you're doing. It's a rule. No matter what you're doing. Doesn't matter. Whatever you're doing, wherever you're at. I bet that's a pretty uncomfortable <laughs> thing. There he is. Is that Fred calling? Yeah, it is. What you doing, James? Hey, dude, sorry, I tried to call you first. How you doing? Hey, man, it's 10-13. It's 10, it's 10 13. But why 10 13? Because that's our time. That's okay. our time. I mean, we got a good minute, a good solid minute during 10 13 to 10 14 to talk to each other every day. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I told Scott, he's like, why is your alarm going off? I said, it's 10 13. That's the time Fred and I call every day. Say hi. Yeah. That's what friends do. All right, man. Kind of right. busy right now. Too busy to talk. I'm going to have to lift this one. Oh, he's going to count. He's going to count. Though. Don't screw it up. We need this one. In the boat. <laughs> I lost a four pounder the other day. Doing Out of the that. back. Yeah, yeah. did that move. Cost me two pounds. That's our biggest one yet. That's a giant. There's big ones in this lake, guys. I promise you. Any minute, any minute, it could you happen. could set the hook or Terry or Fred. Any, I mean, dude. Any minute. Any minute. And they'll be mixed in. Yeah, with that. Yeah. Two pounder, one pounder, one pounder, two pounder, ten pounder. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, head shake. Woo. I mean, he stopped that crankbait. Oh no. Come on, be one of them jive jive. It's yeah, big. oh it's a big it's a ten pounder. <laughs> it's a big one. Yes, oh gosh, that's twelve, dude. Oh my god, dude. Anything but that. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> that's like one of the biggest bass I've ever caught in my life, I think. Oh my lord. I'm shaking. Oh. Yeah. 
<laughs> Boom! That's bigger than any fish weighed in in the entire oh world for this week. Oh my gosh, that's like one of the biggest bass I've ever caught. That's the biggest bass I've ever caught in my life. Boom! That's the biggest bass I've ever caught in my life. <sighs> Boom, boom, heck yeah, Terry, this is gonna do it right here. This is the big fish. This is the biggest fish I've seen all week long. The biggest fish I've seen, too. We, you know, we've gotta be, in a, have a commanding lead now. This is a 10 pounder. This That's is right. a solid 10 pounder. <laughs> that is a beautiful fish. That's beautiful. 963, 961, 961. 961, 961, okay. He's, he's we, close. We, I think we, he's close to a 10, we're gonna wait on another scale. You know, when you get a big fish like this, Every scale weighs a little bit differently. That's to right. me, that looks like a solid 10 pound fish. And I mean, growing up in California, I've caught a bunch of 10s and that is like right yeah. on the 10 pound mark. I mean, I, nine, hey, nine and a half is dang near nine 10. Nine and a half, I mean, you know, it's over nine and a half pounds. I mean, hey. I don't, I, th that's close to my personal best. If it's not, it's right at it. Cause I know at Falcon, I caught a nine eight, or yeah, a nine eight, a nine four, and a nine one, so. You're right there. You know, it's right at Right it. there. But now we gotta try to fish again. Let's go. Let's get another one. Yeah. Oh, it's a big. It's a ten pounder. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> That's like one of the biggest bass I've ever caught in my life. I think. I love it. I think I yelled it's a 10 pounder three times this week. Two or eight. <laughs> but uh, that was thing. definitely the biggest one. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, Fred's originally from California, so he's seen a lot of big bass. I'm from Kentucky, and, you know, we've got some nice oh, bass, got... but we don't see a lot of nine pounders where I'm from. What do you think that worm smells like? It's like popcorn. You know what I think it smells what? like? Baloney. <laughs> Baloney? Oh, definitely bologna. Bologna? Bologna with popcorn. Bologna flavored popcorn. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna do something that's known for big bass, and that is a giant worm. And I think you've got a fish on. Uh, oh, he come off. Oh, man. He wasn't very big, but he come that's off. Okay. Well, if we can get one to fire up here, dude, it's, uh, it's lights out. We caught him on two different kind of crankbaits, a shallow runner, and a big deep runner, and we caught some hammers here, man. Biggins, and this was the key to our 35 pound bag right here. This is the same area you guys caught yeah. on earlier that day. You wanna talk about excited? You wanna talk about the moment <laughs> that we won gold? It's amazing. There he is, big and grown one. Good, good. It's coming up. This is a giant, Scott. No, he ain't. He's a good, good one. one. You want to swing him in? I'll swing him. We need him. God dang it, I thought he was better than that. He's a, he's a good Man, one. Man, they're mean. <laughs> they are mean. Dude, they pulled good twice job, as hard, dude. dude. <laughs> yeah. You just anticip it's anticipated. I can't help it. It pulled super hard. <laughs> he was mad. 289. Yeah, he was mad. It was terrible. <laughs> 289. That's number four, though, man. Dude, that's number four. We're working on the limit. We're wide. We're working We're on the limit now. <laughs> first cast. We have four. We that's have the first four. cast. Hey, but uh, if we look silly today, it doesn't matter because everybody's getting to see all the big ones we caught in the tournament. And all that matters is that we got gold, and we did. You know, James, I tell you one thing I have to be proud of is my Evinrude. You know, I've been running them my entire career. I've never seen you run anything else. No, that's basically all I've ever ran, yeah. really. And you know, traveling all over the country like I do. Fishing these tournaments, you have to have defendability, you have to have power. And, and I tell you what, that motor gets it done. It's great on fuel economy, it, it's great on oil. It, again, it's powerful, totally customizable. You can trick those things out. You've seen some of the I've ones. Seen wild oh, wild yeah. Colors. I mean, you can really make it look however you want to make it look. Match your boat. Yeah, it's awesome. So, guys, if you are thinking about repowering or you're going to be getting a new boat soon, be sure to check out the Evernood full line of motors. It, it, it's, it's awesome. They're good, good motors. Great warranty as well. Check them out. Got him biggin'. Got him? Biggin'. Biggin'? Biggin'. Giant. All right, Fred. Gosh. Guys, this is a giant fish. Oh my goodness. Okay, he's not as big he's as He's not thought, as big. But it's a good one. Way to go, Fred. <laughs> I wanted to swing him in the boat. All right. Run. <laughs> hey. Hey, that'll help us. 
Let's weigh that sucker up. <laughs> we'll weigh that one up. Let's weigh it. That is awesome. That's not as big as our other one. But no, it's but a that's nice a good one. five plus anyway. Five twenty. Five yep. no five fifty. 524 to 515. Solid five pound fish. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Oh my gosh, it's a 12 pounder. Oh my dude. God. It's the biggest bass of my life, oh my bro. God. You gotta, you gotta land this fish. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a 12 pounder, dude. Please get him, he's my biggest one ever. Oh my gosh. Get him, dude. Hold on, hold on. Get him. Oh my gosh, dude. That's the biggest bass I've ever caught. That's the biggest bass I've ever caught. Dude, it's a 13 or 14 pounder. I don't even know. It's my biggest bass I've ever caught in my life. Yeah, it's gigantic. Dude, I can't move, I'm paralyzed. Look at this. It's gigantic, dude. It came off that tree. Oh my God. It's a 13 or 14 pounder, dude. Oh, <laughs> I got to lip it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's like my biggest bass ever. I've never. That's the biggest one I've ever touched. Holy guacamole! <laughs> Woo! All I heard was, "Oh my god, oh, there he is!" He had like 20 feet of line out, dude. I've never seen a fish this big. I was nervous for you. I'm nervous now. I'm still shaking. <laughs> Dude, you didn't have 20 feet of line out. There was a tree right there and I go, oh, and I see my crankbait coming by the tree. I see the little blob go like this and I see a blob in the tree go like this, whoop, and eat it. And I go, I got her, dude. Unbelievable. We're gonna that's weigh that fish That's the biggest minute. bass I've ever touched. I got to touch it. <laughs> Guys, how about that little one, little one, little one, two pounder, one pounder? Do we, we said it? I don't how even many know. Times we said I don't it? know. How big do you think it is? Before, just like if you have pause on your TV, pause it and just guess right now. I don't know. It's over ten. It's over ten. It's over ten. Did you see? I never look like bigger, you. It's bigger than me. Yes. I mean, God. Ah! Oh. Everybody okay, needs to take a Oh my <laughs> gosh. Oh, here they come. Here they come. They're not gonna believe it. Here they come. I have a scale in my hand. It just happened. I'm not so sure that it's a big enough scale. Man. Dude, all I know, ain't no way they're gonna beat you with that fish. Dude, I grabbed it like this. It looks crazy. I'm like this. It looks crazy. It's crazy looking. I've never seen, I don't, it's just different looking. It was I, it's I gigantic. Know. We came out here with a five fish limit challenge, but I'm changing it because I know y'all got a donkey. I heard PB, potential PB. Close. Okay. Potential PB. So I'm going to say this is the PB challenge now. Forget the other fish, right? <laughs> well, I, I couldn't think of a better place or time to close this show out right now by seeing who's going to win this challenge by weighing yours and weighing ours. What do you think? <laughs> You think I'm I can ready. I want to know. Do you think I can take a little peek? Take a peek. Let's take see, a peek. Let's take see a what peek. you got in here. I want to see what you got. I know what we got in there. I just want to see what you got in here. Oh, Lord. Lordy. Is that ridiculous? Dude, that's a, that's a nice fish. Is that ridiculous? <laughs> dude. What? That's a good one. It's that big, dude. Dude, that's a good one. He's got one that big? It's that's one. a beast. It's got to be that big? That's a big one. Ours is this dude, big? And we've got two. Big? Let me, let me dude, look there's this one is a giant, too. There's this giant, too. They take up the whole. Oh, cool. If you try to throw another fish in there, you'd have to push that one down just yeah. to find a hole to put them in. <laughs> All right, enough. We're going to get let's get these fish back in the lake. We just caught them. We're going to weigh them. We're going to close the show out, guys. We're going to take some beautiful pictures, and we're heading back to the States. So. Let's weigh him up, Terry. The the fish that I caught, it's it's that's one of my personal best. Nine pounds, ten ounces, you know, and that's that's really amazing. And you know, and and Fred here, he wrestled it into the boat for me, and you know, that's something we'll remember forever. Forever. And and you know, just knowing that we've got a ten pounder, I mean, heck, we've got this Derby one. I think we do. Nine. 63. 963. 963. 963. 
So that's a little over nine. That's almost nine, 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 ten. That's close. <laughs> that's like that may be my personal best. Nine eight's the biggest one. Nice job, bro. Good nine, job, T Dog. Wow. Eight. Nine eight. All right, dude. You got the scale. I, I got need it. some help on this thing, man. <laughs> I'm gonna verify this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna verify this sucker. Guys, <laughs> you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> Oh, 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 muy grande! Holy guacamole! 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 Holy you saw it, 12 point. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable fish, guys. Say yes, let's hold them both wow. up. Get them both out? Wow, yeah, real quick and let's get, a, yeah. get them back in the water and get some good still pictures. Wow. <laughs> guys, look at that. I tell you what, Mexico, Team USA, what a great week. We won gold in the International 14th Annual Black Bass Championship and we just came out here and got our PBs. That's right. Unbelievable. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for uh, thanks for having us. us. Yeah. yeah, thanks for having us. Thanks, thanks, thanks for letting me touch yeah. your fish. <laughs> <laughs> what a great week, guys. Oh, what a great God. week. Great time. Unbelievable. Thank you, Scott. You're very oh, Thank nice. You. Awesome, awesome. Guys, next week, new lake, new challenge. We'll see you. That was crazy. Wow. Wow. Thank you.